What's up guys? So you might be wondering how long should you make your inspection period for a real estate wholesale transaction? Well, first off, let's figure out what a inspection period is as it pertains to a real estate wholesale transaction. So an inspection period is when you inspect the property to make sure that, you know, as the buyer, there's no structural damage or there's nothing, you know, wrong with the property. The way you explain this to your seller, at least, is that you inspect the property to make sure there's no structural damage and to make sure that the property fits all criteria. You tell them that, you know, based on your numbers, you already know that you're buying the property. You're already committed to the sale. You just have to make sure that there's nothing majorly wrong with the structure of the property. That's the main thing that you want to focus on when you're speaking to your seller. Because they're going to be like, you know, why do you have to inspect the property? Why are you doing this without, you know, how, how do you make an offer? And then you haven't inspected the property yet. What's going on? So you just let them know, you know, we want to, we, we are sure about purchasing the property for the price that we gave you. However, we just have to make sure that there is no structural damage to the property. Now, once you figure that out, how long should you make the actual inspection period? So what I aim to make my, all of my inspection periods, I used to do the 30 days, you know, when you have 30 days, that's the standard wholesaler uh, giveaway, basically. Any real cash buyer does not need a 30 day inspection and sellers have only gotten more, uh, more caught on to the notion of that. So sellers are only becoming more aware that real cash buyers don't need 30 day inspections. I noticed that about, you know, six, seven months ago, mainly that's when I switched it up. I used to do 30 day inspections. Sellers would start telling me, you know, why are you doing a 30 day inspection period? If you have cash on hand, why are you doing 30 days just for an inspection? I don't want you to tie my property up for 30 days and for you know you just to tell me you're not going to buy the property. There's somebody else out there that doesn't need a 30 day inspection. So that's when a light just you know dinged in my head. I realized like, man, I need to shorten this inspection period. But the thing is, how do you shorten the inspection period and still have enough time to sell the property to your end buyer? That's the big thing here. That's why there's an an inspection period in the first place in a wholesale transaction. See, in a wholesale transaction, unlike a regular transaction where you're actually closing on the property with your company or LLC or in your private name, then you that's not the case here. So with the wholesale transaction, you want to make sure that you're selling the property in the inspection period. That's why wholesalers like to have 30 days, you know, an investor that's wholesaling the property, they want to have 30 days to assign it to the end buyer. But like I said, nowadays, that's a telltale sign that you're actually just wholesaling a property and you're not investing the property yourself. You don't actually have the cash on hand. So what I've come up with is a, a very simple solution to that problem. For one, the terminology in your purchase agreement should say business days as the inspection period. Now, that's a major difference if you think about it. Uh, regular days. So if you were to do 30 days with an inspection period, you're counting weekends as well if you don't say business days. But if you look in your contract and you say this contract is 15 business days, this inspection period is 15 business days, then you are actually able to have a 21 day inspection period. It gives you six extra days because you're operating Monday through Friday. You're not operating um, you know, on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday per se. The thing is, you can still operate on the weekend. You can go out, do your initial walkthrough, get those pictures of the property, and you'll be able to, you know, market it to your, your, your buyers, your network, your clients, or whatever. You'll be able to market to them during the week. So it'll still equal out to 21 days. Now, another thing that I made it even more sweet, just a little more, a little more sugar on the a little more a little I whatever. So the reason why I made it the 21 days. Is because within that 15 day, remember 15 business days, you have to specify, especially if there's a tenant in the property, right? You don't want them to just have it like you visit during normal business hours. You don't want to say that because then that just that's something that your sellers want to be like, you know, why are you just need all this time to keep visiting the property within 30 days? How many times are you going to visit the property? That doesn't make any sense. They will, they will bombard you with so many pushbacks that you can just mitigate all of that by simply putting in the additional terms that the buyer can inspect the property, can inspect the property three times within a 15-day inspection period. 
guys, that's a, a major difference. Uh, trust me, especially during COVID. That's when I first, like, like seven months ago, eight months ago, that's when I really first stepped in to doing that because people were like, you know, COVID's going on. I don't want people in and out of the property. I don't even know if you're going to purchase the property. So why would I keep having you in and out of the property? So easily you mitigate all of that by making it direct. We're visiting your property three times within a 15 day inspection period. Now they're going to ask you, why do you need to visit three times? What's going to happen in those three times that you visit the property with the tenant in the property? You're going to tell them this. You're going to say, the first time I visit the property, there will be an initial walkthrough, which we get pictures and videos of the property, right? The second time you visit the property, you're going to have your contractor come out to get a scope of work of the property, how much repairs needs, how much repairs are needed and what needs to be repaired. That's the scope of work. So that's the second time. The third time, you're going to have your private money lender come out just to sign off on the property and make sure everything is in place right before closing. That's it. You give your you give your clients, you give your sellers so much more of a peace of mind. When you tell them that, you sound like for one, you know what you're talking about, right? But for two, one thing I always teach you guys, I tell you, you don't want to say that, you know, you're purchasing the property yourself. I don't say D'Angelo Simmons is purchasing the property. I say Jungle Properties is purchasing the property or LLC that we purchased the property in. Jungle Properties. So with Jungle Properties purchasing the property, that leads it to believe, you know, in the seller's eye, right? Our, 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 what we view to be reality, perception is reality, right? Our perception is reality. So your seller is now looking at it like, you know, this company, Jungle Properties, they have protocol in place. Their protocol is that they visit the property three times within a 15 day inspection period, right? Within the 15 days. Now, in your additional terms, it says three times. This buyer can inspect the property three times within the 15 day inspection period. But in the actual term in your agreement, it's going to say 15 business days. And guys, I will be able to show you exactly what I mean. I can talk about it all day, but I, I can show you better than I can tell you. So in order for you to see what exactly I'm speaking about and in order for you to know and to feel comfortable about your approach, go ahead and download my personal free purchase agreement, real estate purchase and sell agreement that I've used over the two years of me being full time in this business. And I've used it and not only just used it, but I've developed it and I've made it, you know, to where it's, it's changed with the times I've adapted it to the current environments. So this uh, purchase and sell agreement that I'm giving you guys for free is my personal one. And it also, it states that there's a basic protocol. Now, when you have a basic protocol, it's no different than, you know, when you have, when you go to Walmart, you go to Target, any of these big companies, right? These big companies, they have basic return protocols. They have basic, you know, purchasing protocols. They have protocols set in place that a, a patron or, you know, a seller or um, a client, a customer, they can't just come in and change up what the protocols are. So, you know, you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you can't just come in and change what our company protocols are. This is company protocol. If you don't align with it, find another company, go to a different store. But this is your company. You control the boat here. You control the ship, who gets on and who gets off. So you need to be able to have that mindset. And if you got that type of mindset, they're going to believe you even more. They want to feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I need to align. Okay, this is what Jungle Properties can offer me. This is what they do to all of their clients. It's not singling me out. But check this out. If you do need to single it out, say if you have a seller that's like, you know what, D'Angelo, it just doesn't work for me. 15-day inspection period? No, I, I, I can't have that. I can't. No. So what I would do is say, you know, this is really typical of our company to actually have 15 days. But what I can do for you is expedite the inspection period to a 10-day inspection period. And we enter the property two times within those 10 days. How does that sound, Mr. and Mrs. Seller? So what that feels creates a feeling of acceptance with the seller. They feel so special. They feel like, wow, they're doing this for me. It's kind of like when you when you have a when you get a return, uh, when when a company gives you their money back, even though it says no returns, right? You're like, man, they just did that for me. You feel like you sweet talk them, right? You feel like you just like when Apple, if you break your iPhone and you don't have any insurance, right? You don't have Apple Care. You break your iPhone and you don't have Apple Care. 
you still feel special because you're like, you know, wow, this this Apple person just looked out for me. He got manager approval just for me. That's so special. You get a, a good review. You'll give them a good review. It's the same here, guys. You got to consider yourself a company. Consider yourself a whole organization. And that is exactly how long you make your inspection period. 15 business days, three times you enter. Buyer can inspect the property three times within a 15 day time frame. Now, if you need to see how it's written up, again, download my personal purchase and sell agreement. Link is in the description, and that is totally for free. If not, then you can write it up just how I said it. Just make sure you rewind it. As always, get to stepping.